So hi guys and welcome to color adjustment. We're going to be doing all things relating to color adjustment or color grading, whichever one you want to call it, using CapCut. My main aim is after watching this video, you're going to be playing around with colors in terms of color adjustment or color grading. But before I start, I do want to say my name is Ikai Nambi Precious. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for clicking on this video. Starting up, I want you guys to understand some certain things and certain rules relating to color adjustment. Now, what is color adjustment? Color adjustment is the playing around of colors in a video in order to make it look really nice in the human eyes. If you can get this into your mind, believe me, trust me, you can play around with color adjustment or color grading. Now, usually, digital camera have something called shooting on a flat picture profile. I'm currently shooting this video on my Samsung A33 and I'm shooting this video on a flat picture profile. Shooting on a flat picture profile gives you the flexibility of color grading that video to the fullest capacity and to the maximum capacity you can. Now, for those of you shooting your videos on your mobile phone and your mobile phone does not come with a flat picture profile, I'm going to be telling you guys about a third party app you can install on your mobile phone and that way you can be shooting your videos on a flat picture profile. I'm going to be telling you guys about the app as the video progress. Now, before we go into color grading properly, there are some camera settings your mobile phone needs to be on in order to shoot on a flat picture profile. The first camera setting is for you to take down your sharpness, take down your contrast, and take down your saturation. These three things gives you the flexibility of shooting on a flat picture profile and then color grading that video to the fullest and maximum capacity you want. So moving on to color grading, Personally, I use Premiere Pro to color grade my video, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using CapCut, which is a friendly video editing software for all mobile phones and for desktop and laptop. Whether you're using the Pro version of CapCut or the normal version of CapCut, these color grading settings I'm about to show you can still work on any of that editing software, be it the laptop version, it can still work just once you include the settings. But because my laptop has a larger screen, I'm going to be using the desktop version so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing in terms of color grading or color adjustment. But trust me, if you should imply the same settings for mobile phone cap cords, it will definitely work. So now let's get into color grading. So now we're on CapCut. All I have to do is to click here to create new project. So I'm just going to click on that. And once I click on that, I'm now going to drag in the video I want to color grade. So I'm going to click on this and then go to where the video is on my hard drive to bring it into the timeline, right? So I'm just going to import the video into the timeline and then drag and drop it here. Now, if I should play this video, you can definitely see that this video was shot on a flat picture profile. Now, this video just was shot on a flat raw profile. This is what we call that the video was shot on a raw profile. So if I should play this, you're going to see that everything was like looking flat. You can definitely see the video is shot on a flat picture profile. So now we have to now color grade this in order to start um, to make this video to look more professional. But in the case where you are shooting like a vlog kind of content, um, the first thing you want to do in a kind of vlog kind of content or cinematic video is that you want to add lot into the video. Like you want to add lot. Now adding lot is more like a preset video that has been color graded. Everything has been color graded, but you just want to add it to make your editing or your color grading very faster. Um, so you just want to add lot into it. If you want to add lot, you go here to set filter. So if you go under filter, CapCut has a lot of filter you can actually implement into this video. But I'm not going to be implementing um, the lot into this video because this video is not a vlog kind of video. It's more like um, a YouTube sit down video. So there's no need of me adding a lot into this video. It's only videos that are looking in the aspect of cinematic videos that you can add lot into. But for video like this, I don't add lot into the video. So if you want to add lot, just go and search for the lot you want to add. Like all you just have to do is to keep trying and see the one that looks better in the human eye. Remember what I told you, you are trying to make the video look better in the human eye. So you can drag any lot and put into this 
and if you're comfortable with it you can go with it but for video like this i don't add lots into the video this is more like a youtube video so all i have to do right now is to go on that adjustment right here i'm going to click on that if i should click on that then you scroll down you can see a lot of adjustments you can be doing so this first three i actually don't use them in terms of color grading because i don't really like using them if i want to actually touch these three i'll only touch them when i'm done color grading what i'm going to do is that i'm going to start with exposure now in terms of exposure you just want to play around with this so you're just trying to make this look good on the human eye with exposure i'm going to go minus 10. now for contrast contrast i like leaving contrast somewhere around 10. just 10 because if i should take this to maximum i'm not going to be happy with it so we're just going to take contrast to somewhere 10 i like it at 10 then highlights highlights we're going to be taking this to about minus 10 minus 10 is fine this is already looking good if i should play this right now you're going to be seeing that it's coming the video is coming to life so next up we're going to go scroll down now for this next one i'm going to be taking this towards minus 10 minus 10 is looking okay right so next up we're going to still scroll down and for this one i'm going to take this to somewhere around seven because i like the focus to be on me because this is just like letting the viewers to focus on you and less on the background but for me i usually like the focus to be in like somewhere around seven is fine with me so i'm going to leave this at seven so next up we are going to go to the hlx so inside the hlls if there are colors you're using in your background they are putting on yellow t-shirts there are blue colors in the background there are red colors in the background this is just to make those colors pop up right so what i'm going to do right now is just to click on red so if i should click on red i'm going to take red to like 100 take the saturation to 100 take this one to 100 as well you see the colors are coming alive so i'm going to go to blue because we have blue in the background i'm going to take this to about 12 i think 12 look good then i'm going to take the saturation to the fullest and then take this to about um 22 i think 22 looks fine so next stop is to add saturation to the video um to make it look more appealing for those colors to actually pop up so we're going to go to basics and go under saturation so i'm going to take the saturation to the fullest because again this was shot on a flat picture profile so if i should take this to the lowest you can see now the colors behind me are popping up the yellow i'm putting on now is popping up everything is now looking alive right more better in the eye to me this is the way i'm going to leave this there's nothing again i think i need to add to this because this already looks good to me um so to me this actually looks good so all i have to do right now is to export this video so but before exporting something i'll advise you to do is that you want to now save the presets like you want to save all these settings so that in the next video you want to create in CapCut, all you just have to do is to drag down your video and then just import your presets they call these settings now presets so if i want to save these settings this customized settings i've done on this video is to come here it says save as preset so i'm just going to click on save as preset so once i click on that save as preset then they are going to tell you to title it so once you title it it's not going to be under your preset in your cap cut so each time now you want to edit video there's no need of you taking go and be doing all these adjustments again in terms of the brightness all these things all you just have to do is to drag down that preset just like the way i was showing you guys earlier on how to put like a filter into um cinematic blog those are like the presets that i've already saved so this is now your own preset just to drag and drop and put into your video and that way you just go ahead and export right so i'm just going to export this video right now i'm going to click on export so i'm currently having issue in exporting this video because i'm not using the pro version of CapCut. now um i think they might actually reduce my video quality to 1080p i'm currently i shot this video in 4k just the way i'm shooting this video 
so if i should take this video to 1080p and export the quality might not be looking as clean as this video you're watching so that's just what i want to let you guys know so i'm going to click on export and start exporting this video but just in case the quality is not like sharp at this video just know it's because i'm not able to take the video to 4k because again i shot the video in 4k they are telling me if i should take this video to 4k i will have to make payment so i'm just going to click on export and wait for this to render then show you guys the video and so the video has finished exporting i've watched it but again the quality was not exactly what i wanted because again they reduced the quality so i'm going to be playing this video on the screen right now so that you guys can see the color grading we did on the video i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away yeah, that's it about this video um do have in mind that they reduce the quality just in case it's not as clean as this video you're watching because it's the same settings color settings that i use in this video i showed you guys that i'm currently using on this video now so just have in mind is because of the um downsizing of the 1080p that's why the quality was not looking as clean as this so yeah that's it about this video the app that can actually gives you the flexibility of choosing on a flat picture profile the name of the app is called starcam i'm going to leave the name of the app in my description or link to download the app in my description so that you that way you can just download it and install into your phone that app has a lot of features so just play around with it and see what looks good on camera and then film with it and then do color grading just the same color set i've actually taught you imply it into your editing software and you're going to see that that video is going to be looking amazing that's it about this video i hope this video was helpful don't forget to give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful to you and i do want to say thank you to 900 subscribers i am really really grateful I'm really, really thankful to 900 subscribers. If you subscribe to me, you are you are my toughest fan, to be honest with you. Like, you guys are amazing. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If there are still questions you still want to ask me, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be more than excited to reply to your comments. So just leave them in the comment section below. And just in case you're new to this channel, where are you? <laughs> click on the subscribe button. It's actually glowing. So click on it. Join the family. Let's make our way to 1K subscribers. So let's make our way to 1K subscribers. The only way I can actually reach to 1K subscribers is if you, you actually click on that subscribe button. So you're making my milestone a little bit closer. So if you should click on that subscribe button, it makes the work get easier. So please click on it and don't forget that I also have other videos you can check out here. Feel free to check out any video that might interest you on my channel. I have really amazing content. You guys recently usually tell me that I create amazing and educative videos. So if you're new to this channel, those people are not lying. So check on any of this video trust me you're going to learn a lot from my video and that's it for this video i'll see you guys in my next one till then do stay safe and stay blessed don't forget to check out this video i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys